Good morning, fellow estheticians. Happy Monday morning and welcome to Shelly's Show and Tell. I'm Shelly Hancock and I so, so appreciate you taking your morning to spend with me. Um, last week, if you'll remember, the, you know how I like to do my sayings from a book. Last week, we talked about what comes out of our voice, you know, what comes, um, what we speak about comes about. And then that little voice in our head as well. And I actually think that little voice is even more powerful because that voice generates the voice that comes out of our head. So if we start, come, excuse me, comes out of our mouth. So if we start with positivity, that's what's gonna come out of our mouth. So I wanted to remind you of yes, of last week because this week kind of goes along with that. This is from the charisma myth. I really love this book. This is a really good one. When your brain spins negative scenarios, remind yourself that you may not be getting an accurate perception of reality. Your brain might be following its negativity bias, playing up some elements more than others or omitting some positive positives entirely. Just like an optical illusion that tricks your eyes into seeing things that aren't real, your mind can experience thought illusions that make you feel certain an inaccurate thought is true. Whoa, okay, that's, that's deep, isn't it? Um, like I said last week, I can do this whole motion picture in my <laughs> head of something negative and I really feel like it's real, but when I stop myself and say, is this real? 99% of the time, it's not. Jess, do you wanna pipe in on that and give Absolutely. us some of your wonderful insight? I think it's really important to recognize that we look at the world through a lens that we perceive is true. And I like that you just said that. It's an important question to stop and ask yourself, is this true? Um, is it even real? And where could this thought or idea be, be coming from? Because sometimes our perception is just that. It's a filter which we have had all of our lives, we're looking at the world and we're placing a voice or a monologue onto those around us before we even give them a chance uh, to speak their own thoughts. We have the prejudgments or we have that limitation or fear or just judgment. We assume that that's the automatic. So when you take a second and just be like, is that true? And take a deep breath and slow down and just be like, okay, you know, you can think of someone in your life that you automatically know, you think you know what they're going to say. And that's, again, that's your inner monologue, which is one of our senses, you know, sight, taste, smell, inner monologue. That's another one of the senses that we don't always realize we have. So when you do what Shelly's saying, and just ask yourself, is that true? before you go into a situation with one of your clients, you have a chance to be like, okay, maybe they do want an opportunity to know about this or to experience my knowledge. Maybe they do think I'm an expert. I don't know yet. And it's just an opportunity to give our people around us a chance to see the best of us without our own preconceived notions. Tell a different story in our head and the outcome is going to be different. That's what I believe. Yeah. Thank you, Jess. Jess is Shelly Hancock Consulting's Chief Success Officer and my very good friend. We are just, we just, we just love to get together and just ugh, dive into things. It's really fabulous. Today, we're actually going to talk about uh, what I do to test equipment that I bring to you and a little bit about knockoff equipment as well. So my journey in um, kind of bringing equipment to all of you started many, many years ago. I would probably say around 2007. <clears throat> At that time, I would buy equipment. It was really, but around that year, around 2005, we were really starting to get some interesting equipment in this industry. Before that, it was uh, a steamer and microdermabrasion. That was, <laughs> that was it. That's all we had. And in the early 2000s, we started to get more and more in our industry. And I just, for some reason, I was really attracted to the equipment. So I started purchasing full price pieces of equipment and testing them and seeing the results on my clients and kind of getting excited about it. And then uh, I don't know how or why this happened, but other estheticians in my area, uh, I started talking about it and they started buying the pieces of equipment. And, and I had this little aha moment, like, wait a minute, 
<laughs> I'm selling equipment for these companies, not even really knowing it. And it was really interesting at the time because my, my late husband um, said to me at that time, oh, babe, I know one of these days they're going to start giving you these pieces of equipment. I'm like, come on, you know, that's never going to happen. Well, that's actually happening now. Companies are coming to me, sending their equipment and having me test it because they want me to promote their pieces of equipment. So way back in the day when all that happened, uh, I started talking to the companies. Uh, I would call them up and say, hey, you know, <laughs> I've purchased this piece of equipment full price and now so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so have purchased from you. Uh, I want a little something, something for this. And they didn't quite know what to do with me because I wasn't asking for a job. I was just saying, hey, I'm talking about you. How about a little bit something coming back this way? So that all kind of started to work out. And uh, I do get sent things now, but I do want you to know also that there is a graveyard of equipment in my garage. Just because I'm sent something doesn't mean I automatically put it on the website. It's, um, it's my clients, it's my face that it's all being used on and I want it to work well. I wanted it to be a quality piece of equipment. And then it's my reputation once I bring it out to you. So I, I, do, I distinctly remember the first time that I received a piece of equipment from a company and I just, it didn't make the cut for me. And it was so hard to call them up and, and say, thank you so very much. But at this time, it's not a match for me. It was really hard because they were so excited and wanted me to be excited about their equipment, but I just couldn't do it. If, it. if I didn't feel completely right about it, I cannot do that. So I want you to be, you know, I want you to rest assured that if it is on my website, then I have definitely given it, you know, like the two thumbs up. And what I do when I get a piece of equipment, I get a lot of them from the German company, Method Bridget Kettner which is really cool. I love that company. I've been working with them for quite some time now. And there have been ones even through them that I've said, you know what? No, not so much. And then they end up selling those uh, over in Europe. They keep them over there because they're in Germany. They keep them over there and they send other pieces of equipment out to us. So if, let's say it's a piece of handheld equipment. While I'm sitting here at my computer, it's sitting next to me and I keep turning it on keep turning it on, keep turning it on. I want to see if that thing's used over and over and over again. How long is that charge going to last? Is it going to conk out on me within a few minutes? So my husband used to call it dogging it, you know, <laughs> like we'd almost throw it across the room to see if when it landed, it bursted, <laughs> or what, is it a solid piece of equipment? And then I began first by using it on myself. I have kind of this instinct now, after all these years, I kind of almost know right away whether it's gonna be something I'm interested in or not. But I will use it for a few weeks on myself. There have been times where I've only used it on half of my face for weeks, maybe even a month or more. And I wanna see if I can see the changes. And years ago, I do remember back to my late husband again, as I do remember him after, a, I think it was about six weeks, I used one piece of equipment on one side of my face. He goes, babe, when are you going to do the other side? Because, you know, you're really starting to look lopsided there. So that was a good sign that he noticed that there was a change. So had to do the other side real quick. So once it goes through me feeling like it's a good piece of equipment, then I begin to use it on my clients. I want to get their reaction of the sensation, what's going on while I'm using it on them. I want to get their reaction throughout a month or so of what they feel like knowing my other pieces of equipment, how did their skin feel when they went home? How did their skin look when they went home? How long did those results last for them? So this is how much I really test each piece of equipment that comes across my desk. I want you rest assured in that. Um, Jess, are there any questions or anything you wanna to add yeah. to that? I mean, Shelly, when you find those ones that end up in the graveyard, in your garage or wherever, what? why do you think that like it's, What's the difference between a good quality piece of equipment that you have on Shelly Hancock and maybe something someone's going to find that's maybe cheaper? Yeah. yeah, that's a really good question. For me, sometimes it's even the moment I feel it. Like there's something about it being solid in my hand versus something that feels very flimsy. Um, and then the second thing is 
the way it feels on my skin. I've played with enough equipment over the years that for like a certain modality, I know what it should be feeling like on my skin. So I can tell the difference right away. And then just that question actually leads me to the next thing I kind of wanted to talk about <clears throat> is knockoffs. This is something that has been driving me crazy since the very beginning of this part of my career. Um, I got my hands on some knockoffs over the years because we all think money, right? Oh, this is cheaper. Like you just said, this one's cheaper. Good. I'm going to go for this one. And it's really frustrating because throughout the years, I have always gone to the source, like the first company that made the piece of equipment. And it doesn't take long for another company to do a knockoff of it. I mean, it happens so quickly within months and they'll come in with this really cheap price now, they, they know how to make the molds. They can make it look exactly the same, but the inner workings are not the same. And one year, many years ago, there was a piece of equipment with an, um, a company from Israel that I worked with, quality piece of equipment. It was a $3,500 piece of equipment, absolutely loved it. There was a $750 one on the internet. I had two estheticians that purchased it knowing what this one felt like. They had either gotten a demo from me or they had been in a workshop I was giving and they knew what it felt like and what it was supposed to be like, but they chose to go the inexpensive route. And both of them, when they got it, they called me and said, Shelly, it is not the same thing at all. So it was interesting because the company actually ended up buying the $750 one, opened up both of the pieces of equipment. And I have a picture of them side by side. And you can see how the circuit board and all of that inside is completely different. So remember, you can see something online. It can look exactly like the real piece of equipment. Most of the time, the inner workings aren't the same. But I've actually heard stories also that when the esthetician received the piece of equipment, it ended up not looking the same when she received the piece of equipment. They can easily copy our pictures, right? I've even seen companies that have copied my before and after pictures. I've seen them in an ad for a trade show. I opened the, the brochure for the trade show and there were all of my clients before and after pictures from some company I'd never even heard of before. So we wanna be careful with that. Yes, we all are looking at budgets. We all wanna save a little bit of money, but saving money sometimes is not the best way to go if you're gonna end up getting a piece of equipment that doesn't achieve the results that you would achieve with the real piece of equipment. That makes sense to everybody? Yeah. Anything you could pipe in on, Jess? I was gonna say, I think this is something really important to talk to when it comes to having equipment that we, we retail to our clients too as well. Because if we don't present to them that higher piece of quality equipment that we know and third party you and tell them, like this has been researched by one of the gurus in the industry who's got decades of experience, but as well, if you don't sell it to them, you know, what's your experience, Shelly, with where do they go if, if we don't have it in our treatment room to give to them? Yeah, good question. They all go to the internet and they're going to buy that knockoff one, but they are not going to know, to this, know the difference because they've never felt the real one before. They're just looking at, oh, a price, you know, or this looks like the one I saw in my esthetician's treatment room, you know, so I'm going to grab this one. So they're not going to understand that they're not going to really get results from that knockoff piece of equipment. Um, years ago, when we started working on the Illuminate LED panel, this has been quite a few years ago now. Uh, uh, Bill from, uh, from Illuminate Aesthetic Skin Systems um, got his hands on a couple of other knockoff. Um, so, so there are companies, LED companies out there that already have knockoffs of theirs, unfortunately. So he got a hold of one of the knockoffs and he has the equipment to hook it up and, and you know, check the energy in it. And one of these knockoffs we found, and it was, this was an LED panel, not just a handheld or anything, it was a panel you would have to lay under for 10 hours to get the same amount of energy you would on five minutes under our LED panel, 10 hours. So the, the person who has purchased this is really wasted their money and their time. If they lay under it for let's say 15 minutes or 30 minutes, they still haven't achieved anything because there's not many, much power coming out of that. So we really want to encourage our clients to purchase from us versus going out on the internet because you're going to bring them that quality piece of equipment that is going to achieve results. 
I think when they purchase from us too, and they can get that extra piece of equipment, there's that trust that's built because you're like, I'm not afraid to help you have these tools to take home to use. And so that you can be independent and it's high quality and they actually get results. And then they want to come back to the treatment room and get the continued education and guidance because there's zero scarcity. There's all that trust that's built between the esthetician and their client. And if they don't get it from you, then they're going to go find it somewhere else and it's not going to be as good of quality. They're going to waste their time. And then they're also going to lose their trust that it even the entire industry works. Right. So just, do you feel it is a good idea to, I can see both sides of this good idea to tell the client about the knockoffs out there and what you're going to sell them as the quality one, or are they going to think, Oh, she's just trying to get me to buy from her and hers is more expensive than that one I see out there online. I think we go right back to what you brought up at the beginning. It's again, not our place to worry about what they might think, you know, it's our place to give them what we know is best. And I do think um, when we're like, it could go both ways. I'm like, no, but what's best for the client? What do you know in your heart that you would be doing them an injustice if you were to worry? Like, if I tell them this, are they going to not come back to me? And I'm like, is that's what, or are they going to think I'm just trying to sell them what's it's, you know, we want to erase those monologues and be like, okay, I know that I need to offer them good quality equipment and that I do. And we have that trust because we can come back to, you know, talking about Shelly and just being like, the reason I carry this piece of equipment is because I purchased it from a trusted advisor for estheticians, Shelly Hancock. And I know you don't know who she is, but she is one of the trusted in the industry. And this piece of equipment has been tested, you know, and used for years and is going to get you the best results. Now, I think it's really good to just bring up the elephant in the room, if you will, and just be like the price points a bit higher. But what that means is that it is top notch quality, if it is. And again, remember that price is relative to the individual. So we don't want that monologue in our mind that's like this is expensive, because maybe they aren't going to think it is. This is quality and and quantity and quality and value are different than monetary amount. If it gets the results, can you really put a number on it? You know, I think of the eye rejuvenator, right? If you use that every day, um, it's going to create beautiful results. For me, it's the pigmentation under my eyes. It's much better um, and relaxation and enjoyment. Um, and it's different when Shelly does it on me. That's even better. <laughs> but having it at home is just like, I love it. I love having it. And then I love having the experience when Shelly did it on me. I was like, so you can't have one without the other. You know, and if they buy it and take it home and you let them know, like, this is high quality um, and you can just say, yes, it is a bit more expensive, but it is going to produce results. And what it also I can assure you is that we have that quality assurance. It comes with the warranty you want. It comes from a very trusted company that we've been working with for years. Um, and what I mean by we is Shelly Hancock and you as the esthetician, like mentioning your quality advisors, right? And trusted guides and just letting them know. And then they might say to you, I want to think about it. Again, I also come back to, do you mind me asking, like, what are your main worries and what are you thinking about? Because uh, you're the expert. So you'd say, I'm the expert and I want to make sure I get you the answers. And then you can take some time to think that over because- they, they're going to, thinking about it is usually the money. There's fear, right? But it's going to amplify the results. So I think just knowing that the quality they're getting and then just presenting what's best for them and not worrying about that filter that's inside your head that may be creating some kind of a monologue that your client isn't even concerned about because they trust you. I think, Jess, you're, you're spot on with that. I, 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 mm, I can't see all of you out there, but... I think we have a hard time when they say, oh, no, I think I want to wait. You know, let me think about it. What do we usually do? Oh, OK, I'll, you know, I'll see you next month. And we hope that we can sell it to them next month when they come in. But I love that asking them what their you know, opposition is so that you can get the best answer to them and maybe help them better make that decision. Having no fear about that, not having that monologue in our head about what they're going to say. That's that's big. Yeah, I think it's even just being in that approach. Do you mind me 
you know, helping you a little bit with what, because what they're maybe thinking is that thing we don't want them to do. So it's better to, to step up and be like, I always agree. I'm like, absolutely. I understand you want to think about things and I respect that. But do you mind me asking, what are your main concerns and what are you thinking about? Because they're thinking, I'm going to go home. I'm going to jump online. I'm going to check out Amazon and I'm <laughs> going to see if I can that one that's $15 cheaper. And you're like, do you, do you really want to do that? And we know they don't, but they don't know any better yet. So we just want to help them by getting rid of our inner fear that they're going to think we're trying to be the for, you know, salesy and that's not what it is, but just to be that trusted advisor and be like, I'm going to show up in my confidence and just be like, do you mind me asking? And do you mind me helping you make sure that we make the right decisions? And then also, you know, just promising me that while you think about it, I don't want you going out there and buying one without coming back to me first and checking in with me, because I want to make sure you get the best thing for you. And I might be able to help you make the right decision and make the best financial investment as your trusted advisor. Can you promise me you'll do that? I love that. Spot on, spot on. Okay. We're already, already finished for today. This goes so quickly. Um, in a couple of weeks, we are actually going to have an extended version where Jess is going to really go into one week. We're going to do sales really like what she was just talking about. We're going to go in depth. We're going to do a full hour. And then one week, we're going to talk about the cool products for a full hour. So make sure you watch my schedule for that because that's going to be fabulous. Okay, everyone. Thank you so very much, very much for joining us and go out there and make it a great day.